guys in today's video I'm going to do a fall and winter skincare routine I call it my fall and winter routine because a lot of these products are things that I use as we get into winter so if you want to see no not my routine what the hell this is what happens when you have wine before you film a video my fall and winter skincare essentials that's what today's video is so if you'd like to see that please keep watching during the fall and winter my skincare changes a little bit um, normally I have oily skin but in the fall and winter my skin changes to kind of normal slash dehydrated which basically means my skin is just lacking a lot of moisture which is common um, in people with oily skin because they think since they're oily they don't need a lot of moisture but everybody needs moisturizer so that's my number one tip is no matter what skin type you have you definitely need moisture it's important for you in the summer and spring seasons as well as the fall and winter i'm also going to post a link down below to my essentials last year they probably have not changed a lot but i know i have gotten a couple products since then that are really essential in my skincare routine let's sort of start in order with cleansing the cleanser that i love for the winter time and fall is the peter thomas roth rose stem cell cleanser now i first purchased this last year when i was having a major skincare like problem and my face was breaking out in like bumps but it wasn't acne it was an allergic reaction so i got this this is a really nice reparative cleanser. It's also hydrating. It's anti-aging as well. So that's why I like this one. It is a gel, but it's not drying at all. So that's my cleanser for the fall. Another cleanser that I really enjoy for this season is the Ulla Hendrickson Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. I use this cleanser when it's really, really cold outside or my skin is really dry or dehydrated and I'm wearing makeup. I use this when I do a dual cleanse. So I'll take off my makeup with a makeup remover or I'll use this because this helps to melt away makeup as well. So it's like a balm and it has vitamin C in it so it's really good for brightening. It looks like this. I'll apply it to my face, massage it in and then um, introduce some water to my face and then rinse it off and it gets your face really clean but it also helps to leave your skin very hydrated so this is something that's really essential for me during the colder months and I use it with a dual cleanser so I'll use this first and then I'll use the Peter Thomas Roth cleanser afterwards just to get off all the oil that's left behind with this product in terms of toners the one that I want to use I haven't tried it yet but this is what I would incorporate into this routine I always use a different toner in the summer versus the fall so for the fall time I use a toner which um oh my god I use a toner that's more hydrating I don't have one with me right now but I'm thinking of picking up the Lancome no an Estee Lauder one in terms of serums the only serum that I have right now that's essential for me is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair of course you only use this one at night but this one is really great it's not exactly hydrating, but it helps reverse signs of aging, which are all kind of exaggerated in the wintertime, at least for me, any dry patches, any flakiness, any wrinkles, fine lines, anything like that. So this is always really essential for me, and this is my number one skincare serum all year round. In terms of moisturizers, I have three, <laughs> all for different reasons. The first one is the one that's newest to my collection. This is the Bosha Stocky Balm. This would be my daytime moisturizer when my skin is at its optimal level. It's not overly dry. It's not overly oily, of course, because I really don't get that oily in the fall and winter seasons. But if I do feel like I need a little moisturizing, um, I'll introduce the Lancome BNFA Multi Vital, I think. I never know how to say this correctly. The uh, moisturizer. And this is the one for the daytime. This is for normal skin, normal to dry skin. So if this moisturizer isn't enough, which it is very light gel texture, I'll use this one in combination. And it gives me the perfect amount of hydration that I need for daily use. Now for nighttime, this is my favorite. It's the Lancome BN Fame Multi Vital Night. Uh, it's the same line as the day one. This is just a little heavier, and I think it has more vitamins in it. It just really, really hydrates your skin. When you wake up, your skin will be really soft and supple. So that's my number one night cream. When I want to impart radiance in my face in the fall and winter seasons, I don't like to use anything that's too harsh or abrasive on my face because it can dry my skin tone out. Not my skin tone. Because it can dry my skin out. So I like using this. This is the First Aid Beauty Face 
facial radiance overnight mask so it hydrates your face because it's an overnight mask and it's sort of like a gel cream it's really nicely scented but it also helps give you a radiant complexion and I really like that so it kind of just illuminates your face it doesn't do a lot to exfoliate but if I wanted to exfoliate I would just use the pads with this in the morning but this really gives your face nice illumination another product I want to point out that's really essential for me all year round but especially in the winter is the Dior um, the Dior one essential serum i don't have that right now because i'm waiting for the friends and family sale to get it but that really helps rid your skin of toxins and that just really brightens my face up a lot which i find is really necessary in the fall and winter seasons when my skin tends to look most dull um in the same kind of category of helping your skin be hydrated and illuminated, this marula oil is great. Marula oil comes from the marula tree. I'm not sure exactly how different it is from argan oil, but it's kind of like the new and improved version of argan oil. I love this. This is a 100 point perk that I got from Sephora. I put this on my face when I'm getting any dry patches. If I feel like maybe around this area or um, my cheeks or my chin, if anywhere is feeling really tight at night, I will put this marula oil on just to give me that extra boost of hydration and when I wake up my skin just instantly looks better more radiant and not dull and flaky I also have a facial mask this is the Bosha Subaki oil deep hydration sleeping mask it actually doesn't have oil in the name <laughs> Um, but this is a sleeping mask. So what I do is I put a really nice amount of this on my face. I go to sleep. I wake up, rinse it off, and it really just helps to give you deep, deep hydration. I love all of Bosch's products, and this one is really nice. I started using this last year as well, and this is essential for me in the fall and winter time. One more skincare product for, like, face. This lip balm is everything. I talk about it in all my skincare routines, my essential videos, everything. This is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. It is a lip balm marketed towards men. It's a men's skincare line, but I guess I have men's lips because this is the only thing that really hydrates my lips. I also like it because it has the mint um, scent to it, and it also has an SPF of 25, which is really important. So this is my favorite lip balm. It's essential for me in the fall and winter especially, but all year round, this is the one I use. I have tried the other scents, but I always come back to this one. Okay, so now let's get to body products. So the first one I'm going to talk about is something that I use for my Keratosis Polaris, which is basically nicknamed Chicken Skin. I am experiencing a bit of it right now on the side of my knee. It's the overproduction of keratin. So I think that is the reason why my hair grows so quickly. I just have too much production of keratin in my body and so it causes tiny little bumps on your skin mainly being your arms back of your thighs i have it on the sides of my knees in the front it just creates a really rough bumpy skin that i think is horribly unattractive so i hate it the two ways you can combat kp are to exfoliate use something medicated sometimes if you want to i know you can use like a clearasil uh, exfoliator I just use a regular exfoliator and also something that's medicated in terms of uh, a cream so this is the Derma Doctor KP duty moisturizing therapy it's really good for dry skin and also people with KP so I put this anywhere where I'm experiencing KP I'm not always experiencing a breakout but when I do this is what I use the full size version of this is really expensive so I just tend to go for the mini one ounce sizes because they're like nine or ten bucks as far as body butter, my favorite body butter that I always go back to that's super cheap is the Sea Booth Egyptian Argan Oil Body Butter. It's not as thick as a lot of other body butters, which I like because I hate putting thick things on my legs and then I have to rub them in for like 10 minutes. This one is great. It smells really nice, light, and fresh. Um, and yeah, it's just a really hydrating body butter and I believe it has like vitamins in it. Yeah. Vitamin E to soothe your skin. Okay, and the last product category would be things for my hands. So just like how I have really dry lips, I have really dry hands. And because I'm OCD and I'm always washing my hands, 
I always have to have hand creams and stuff with me. So the one that I like to keep in my purse is the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. My mom, shout out to you mom, even though you don't watch this, she always picks these up from me when she goes to the grocery store. We love these. They're just um, really soft hand creams. So these are nice. The only thing I don't like about this is that you have to dig your hand in it so you can't share it with other people. I mean, at least I don't because I don't want anybody else's germs in my <laughs> container of cream. But this is awesome to like keep in your purse. And in terms of hand creams that I keep at home or in my car or anything like that, I have the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Sal Salve salve something hand cream i got this for christmas last year yeah and was it christmas no i got this for my birthday did i get this for my birthday yeah i think i got this for my birthday so this one it's not the thickest but it is a very nice formula it's not very heavy which is good because I don't like putting heavy things on my hands it's very 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 hydrating It has a light medicinal scent but not too much it kind of smells like mint this is really nice but yeah that's everything I have to share with you guys for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below like I said I'll post my video from last year and yeah Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.